Hey guys, what is going on? This is the GTA Wise Guy, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So, in the last video, you guys seen me modify the My Batsu Revolution. I've done a showcase on that, and the wide body version as well that you guys can see here. Now, in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys the other star of the Tunes and Outlaws video, the wide body comet. So, first of all, you'll notice how chill in here as well. You're right, how? How's it going? It's in a bit. <laughs> and, uh,. How was actually at the forefront of the Tuners and Outlaws trailer? Simply because I wanted him to be like the guy that you would do contact missions for. In single player, he's the guy that you go to for the street races, so it was only fitting. Anyway, he was the guy in the showcase as well, and this would sort of be like the star car of the DLC. Unless it was an R34 or a Super, they would probably be the star cars of the Tuners and Outlaws, if that was to be a real DLC. Anyway. Some of you guys might be wondering, why did I choose the Comet? Why didn't I make another car from scratch? Basically, once I finished the revolution, I didn't really have time to do anything else properly. So, I pretty much just decided to slap a body kit onto the Comet. Now, the Comet is actually based off a Porsche 911 in real life, which is why I decided to do it. And the trend for this sort of wide body kit... What's she doing here? Fuck off. She's just walking away after I've shot her. Really? So, the big craze about wide bodies on a Porsche 911 was started by a guy called Nakai-san. If you guys have played Need for Speed, you'll know who he is. But I decided to go with the Comet. It's not based on any of the Porsches that he's done before in real life, like the 930 or the 993. But I thought, instead of just making a car from scratch, I'll use the Comet. It fits perfectly, I think. And I've not actually built the wide body entirely from scratch. I've pretty much ripped part of it from the Banshee. So you'll notice at the bottom here, we've got that RWB styled skirt. And also at the front as well, we've got that RWB front front lip and the, uh, the canids as well. So clearly Rockstar decided to go with an RWB style for the Banshee 900R when they brought this out. But at the end of the day, I thought it's not really reminiscent of Porsche and a RWB Porsche at the end of the day, so I decided to go for a more reminiscent version of the real life ones on in the game, which is why I come up with this one. You can see at the back there, it's pretty much similar to the Banshee, but I've just changed bits at the back really as well to make it a bit wider. I've put some fat wheels on it, and uh, I've just smoothed out the front there as well, and I've used the front splitter. This is actually a rip off of. Rao Welt Begriff, which is basically what the extended version of RWB is. Now, Rao Welt actually translates to Rough World, and there's actually a set of wheels in game called Rough Weld, which is why I decided to go with it. So, and they are those wheels, except I change them a little bit. I put some studs on there to make them like three piece wheels. They're ex extra deep dish at the back as well. But basically, the Rough Weld wheels already exist in game. I'll show you guys in a minute when I go into customs. So if you guys want to spawn it in with whatever trainer you've got, you can just go to input model and you can spawn Comet 2. So it's basically just replacing the original Comet if you guys are on GTA 5 PC and you want to test this mod out. There is a link in the description for that. So the first thing that you guys can notice, it basically looks like a massive go-kart. It looks ridiculous. It's got massive fat tires at the back and the arches don't actually cover the wheels. And it pretty much looks entirely stock. 
Now what I decided to do with the spoiler as well, you guys can see there is no actual spoiler on there, it's just a smooth deck lid. And uh, a lot of people have been asking for that from the comment, so I decided to go and do that, just a little thing if any of you guys want to build one without a wing. So let's go and take it to the custom shop and I'll show you all the customization for it. Now, the big problem like I mentioned in my previous video as well guys, is you can't just make the normal Comet and then have like an upgrade so that the wheels will be wider and bigger and in a different position. It just doesn't work, it doesn't work on GTA to do that, you've got to completely replace the model to have new wheel positions. Now hopefully in the next GTA or possibly in a future DLC, Rockstar will fix that so that you can just take an ordinary car into customs and then just put some fat massive wheels on it that have got different collisions on them and it will just make the car handle slightly differently and stuff like that. So, first thing on the customization that you guys will want to see are the arch extensions. So you can see it covers the wheels completely. The intake there at the back is covered as well, but to, for it to make sense, I've actually put some big ducts on the spoiler as well, which is reminiscent of RWB in real life. Uh, bumpers, I haven't changed the, the normal one, so I wouldn't recommend having that one on, but if you don't want a bumper on, it actually looks pretty clean if you want to do, to do a clean build. So we're going to throw the RWB splitter on. Uh, the exhaust, I've decided to go with some massive big bore exhausts. Now the lights as well, if you put Xenon lights on, there's no problem or anything with the light position with the Coronas because it is just replacing the old Comet, so they're not changed position, but if you guys look at the lights as well, they are coloured like the rest of the car, so they're not just that matte sort of black colour that you would get on the original Comet. Now I think it looks a bit cleaner, we'll leave the colour for now, if you put the roll cage in, you get the sun strip as well that goes over the window, now you can notice that the actual text is see-through as well, a cool addition that I decided to do there. Of it, there, is, there are some bugs in the editor if you guys want to take some pictures of it. If there's anything blurry in the background, it will mess up that sun strip. Now, spoiler. We obviously have the smooth rear deck lid. Then we can do a massive sort of high level spoiler. And then a ridiculous fucking hell that sound triggered. Now, the second wing is actually a pretty massive one. It does obstruct your view a little bit. But I thought, you know what? It's RWB. This is actually reminiscent of the... RWB Rotana builder that Nakai San built for the track. It is completely ridiculous, but it is hilarious at the same time. Now, when you put these spoilers on as well, you will notice that there is some text on the back. Now, when you change the secondary color, that will change with that as well. So, we're going to go with the big, massive wing because why not? Now, when it comes to the actual wheels, you can't actually change them because I haven't instanced one wheel around the rest of the car like most cars do on GTA. So I've basically have to make, make separate wheels to go in each position. Obviously that isn't good for the game engine, but at the end of the day I wanted to make it look the way I wanted to with the deep dish and the fatter wheels at the back and the thinner ones at the front. Now if I made it so that you could do them like the same all around the car if you wanted to change them, it would have stretched the back ones out if I wanted them to be as fat and it would have warped the model, which at the end of the day wouldn't have looked good at all. But another cool thing is you can actually put rough weld wheels on your car. And this is on console as well. This is where I got the idea from to have Rough Weld. It pretty much sounds like Rough Weld, which is what RWB is basically called. It's called Rough uh, Row Weld but Griff. And then that pretty much sounds like Rough Weld. It's got that idea behind it. That's what I think Rockstar were going for when they put those wheels in the game. They look like Nakai San's Workmeister S1s that actually do go on to his. Uh, his RWB Porsche, like the Stella Artois and all the other cars that he does, it is the most popular wheel for the RWB Porsches, which is why Rockstar put it in the game, and that's where I got the idea from. So, moving on, uh, windows, I'm going to leave it as it is, so we can see the roll cage and the rest of it from the outside. Now, respray, I'm actually going to go with a purple colour. I do think purple looks nice on these cars, and we're going to go for like an RWB Rotana build. We'll put the purple on. And the secondary colour will go for a black. Now you can't really see the text on the back, but if we go for a lighter colour, like a bluish silver, you can see it there. We're going to go for black for now to have the wheels black. Now, if you guys are on PC and you're actually using this mod, I wouldn't recommend putting the suspension upgrade on unless you really want to, because the tyres will actually go through the arches if you're going over bumps and stuff. Unfortunately, I can't exactly fix that unless I change the handling, which I haven't done because I'm lazy. But yeah, there you go. So I'm going to leave the suspension stock, we'll put the transmission, turbo, engine and brakes on. Now another cool feature as well which I decided to do with this car, unfortunately it isn't in the mod but I will leave some instructions on the GTA 5 mods page if you guys want to do it. You'll notice that the actual car noise isn't the original Comet 
and it's actually from the Sterling GT. So I wanted that old school V8 sound, which I would expect you could actually do with a tuner's DLC, like an engine swap to change the noise of your car and the, the power band and all that sort of stuff, which I think would be pretty cool. I love the Sterling GT because when you get to really high revs and then you tap the brakes, it just makes a lovely like crackling sound. So that's why I went with that one and I think it sounds pretty cool and it's sort of like sort of like a throwback to like a Porsche 930 even though this car isn't that old it's cool to put like an old school motor in it because why not. Now in terms of performance it is the same as the Comet I haven't changed the handling but of course with a tuner style DLC we could do all sorts like just boosting the power we could make it sick for the track or whatever else we could even make this drift if you really wanted to. <laughs> So like I said previously, you can't, it does obstruct your view a bit that wing because it is like stupidly big, but it is a good laugh at the end of the day. So anyway guys, that is pretty much all for this video. There's not much else to show you with this car in terms of performance and stuff like that. I just want to show you guys the customization and the, my thoughts behind actually modeling the car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Anyway guys, that is pretty much all for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.